Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on upper and lower bounds. In this video we're going to go through another example on maximum and minimum values, but this time we've got a division rather than a multiplication. So a motorbike travels a distance of 110 metres to the nearest 10 metres in a time of 5 seconds to the nearest second. Now calculate the maximum and minimum values for the speed in metres per second using the formula speed equals distance over time. So that just says that down here. So uh, let's deal with the distance first. So distance uh, of 110 metres to the nearest 10 metres. So that's this uh, bit of working here. So um, what can the values of the distance be? Well, if it's rounded to the nearest 10 metres, then the, the smallest it could be is 105 metres. Uh, so if we include this value, uh, if you round this to uh, the nearest 10 metres, you will get 110 metres. So that's why we're using uh, an inclusive inequality here. Uh, so let's say that the distance falls within this range and a maximum value of 115, but it does not include 115 since that rounds to 120 to the nearest 10 metres. So therefore, we'll move on to the speed. Uh, oh, sorry, the time. So we have a time of five seconds to the nearest second. Uh, so uh, T falls within an interval of 4.5 seconds, seeing as though this rounds up to five and anything less would round down to four and a maximum value of 5.5 uh, but not including 5.5 since that rounds up to 6. So now uh, we want to find the maximum and minimum values. So let's deal with the maximum value first. So the maximum value of the speed is going to be when we have the largest value of the distance and the smallest value of the time, seeing as though we're dividing the distance by the time. So that's going to be 115 over 4.5, which I'm going to plug into my calculator here. So 115 over 4.5 so that gives us 25.5 recurring so that's the speed which is going to be in meters per second and then for the minimum value uh, we're going to deal with the smallest value of the distance and the largest value of the time so that's 105 meters and the large value of time is 5.5 seconds so we've got 105 divided by 5.5 which I put that into the calculator. Whoops, so that should be 5.5. That gives us a value of 19.09 recurring. So these two bars are recurring, and that's also in meters per second. So those are the maximum and minimum values for the speed in this case. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a really good way of finding out where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are and how you can improve for your exams. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.